Hey, how you doing everyone? What's going on? Alright, so what have we got today? A sock? Another sock? I just get new ones all the time. We got some uh, grains here to throw into this brew. This is the Double Extract IPA. What's well, sort of an IPA I'm going to brew up? Sort of. Sort of. It's a bit of an experimental thing. Here in, here, here in this, I haven't got very many gra grains this time. It's a bit of a smaller bag, so it's got, I got some medium crystal 60 in there. And some roasted barley. Roasted barley. So I'm going to do another double extract here. This is what I'm going to throw together. Huh? It's about time, eh? Yeah, it's about time. Cooper's IPA. Along with the Cooper's Bitter. English Bitter. This one's damaged, so I'm going to have fun opening this one. But I'll try and get that on camera if I can. Yeah. That'll be fun. I got some... Oh, some dry... Dry malt extract. This is dry malt extract. That was from uh, the Craig Two Porter, I think. Uh, I think I bought a kilo of it, so that's approximately 500 grams, I guess. Approximately, give or take. I think I bought a kilo of it. Yeah, and of course I got a little bit of a liquid. I got. I think this is one pound of liquid malt extract. I'm gonna throw into this brew and chuck into it too. And. Um, well, it's about time I give these a go. I mean, I don't know if they're still any good. I hope so. <laughs> they have been in my freezer for a long time. This was sent to me by Immoladius um, a, a while back, over a year ago. So, yeah, the Sriracha 8s, is, they've been in the freezer the whole time. So, hopefully they're not too bad. Uh, aroma, unique tones of lemon and dill, typical styles, IPA, uh, pale ale, Belgian wit. Belgium Saison, one ounce of raw hops. So I'm going to chuck them in the boil after. Towards the, Sometime towards the end, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Just brew, you know? Just brew! Who cares, you know? Who cares whether you do it right or wrong? Just brew. All right, heating up my water. I can get it to up around 150 degrees Fahrenheit or so, between 150 and 160-ish, I guess. I don't know. In around there. And I'll be right back. All right, that's it for the old uh, 40 minute steep. Now I'm gonna start bringing the temperatures back up and get this sucker out so I can add my extracts and then my hops. I'll be right back for that one, eh? Hey. Eh? Why not? Whoa, the whole thing's coming apart. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, so should be interesting trying to open this sucker, considering it's well damaged. Actually, on both ends, so let's give it a go. I have to just open a portion of it. Yeah, I might not even get this friggin' thing open. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm adding in my uh, pound of uh, liquid malt extract now. Still currently heating, heating her up to a boil. Look at this. This is like stew. Holy jeez. Oh, this is going to be a thick beer. All I can pray for is I hope it turns out tasty, very tasty. It's going to be kind of on the thicker side. All that extract and all that extra. <laughs> very nice. Have a look at the leaf hops now. Very nice. Very nice. And this thing is still foaming like a mother. Come on. I need it to calm down before I add these hops. Wow, they still smell great. Dump her in. Uh, I just uh, didn't all get in. Oh no. Wow, that's a lot of hops. That's quite a bit of hops, man. 
Oh, that smells great. I'm going to save that. Got to have a nap later on, so I'm going to sniff that bag for a little while. Holy, look at all those hops. Uh, stop moving, will you? This sucker on the go here. Let's get her pitched. Some of it's uh, distilled water. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's give that a stir. There it is. I'm disoriented here. I don't know which way to go. All right. All right. In you go. Get in there. Yep. You're in there. Get in there. Two hours later look at this 22 hours later and she's starting to go she's starting to <laughs> I'm gonna have to set off a blow up uh, set up a blow off tube by the looks of it I got a bunch of paper towel there just to soak it up but probably little that's gonna do yeah I um, this is what happens when you do uh, double extract brewing with uh, plenty of sugars Oh yeah, she goes like crazy. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Might pop right off. Oh wait, she's she's getting some pressure in there. Some pressure. I had about three inches of friggin' headspace too. I think, well, there's the top of the bucket there. Yeah, I only had it filled to about there. I said, there's probably about, yeah, there's probably about three inches of headspace. So, I mean, that's at least three inches of foam on top of that sucker. Look at that, huh? Damn! I'm not gonna have to set off a blow off tube. She's going. Smells nice though. Mm. <laughs> I should sleep in here with the smell of those hops. Holy. Damn, I'd probably sleep for 10 hours. Hardcore. 